My name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies and welcome to this latest episode of Dan's Vehicle Dynamics Corner. Today what we're going to be discussing is the Chassis Sim Setup Service, an Excel example that will actually take an Excel document and use that to call Chassis Sim. Now, a lot of you might have recalled an earlier tutorial that I did where I talked about the Chassis Sim scripting, about your prerequisites and what you had to do. And I gave you some rough outlines and some broad brush strokes about how to go about it. In this tutorial, we're going to be drilling down to a very specific Excel example. Now, the reason I'm doing this is twofold. Number one, to show you how to actually do this. And the best way of showing you how to do this is to provide you with a hands-on, fully worked example where you can go through and see what components actually do what. And the second reason is that the bulk of setup sheets that are out there are actually written in Microsoft Excel, whether it be Excel 2003, Excel 2007, Excel 2010. And the great thing about what all those versions of Excel have in common is that the scripting syntax, what they do is exactly the same because it's a visual basic um, foundation. So consequently, it's a really good, a good thing to give you a specific example of. So what we're going to be discussing in this example is I'm going to walk you through an Excel document that we'll call Chassis Sim. It has very strict predefined setup parameters and it will call Chassis Sim externally. Now, few prelims before we get going, and forgive me if we're covering some old ground here. First things first, sort your components first, and the best way of doing that is going into Chassis Sim and going onto the damper page, the Chassis Sim suspension geometry tabs, and the various other um, tabs you've got in there and exporting out the components because that way that's going to save you an awful lot of grief because you already know those components actually work. For those of you who are going to start, write stuff from, uh, from, scratch, uh, from scratch, remember, you've got to insert both the carriage return and line feed um, characters. The other thing I cannot stress enough here, make sure your model is sorted first. So make sure it's fully up and working using the existing chassis in front end before you try this. So they're just sort of some words of warning. Again, into some other bits and pieces to get your heads around. Okay, you are going to be using a document called the Chassis Sim Setup File Import Doc document that's found in the help directory. It's pretty much got everything you'll need to run the um, Chassis Sim uh, uh, to run the Chassis Sim scripting in that file. So I would make sure that you would give that a very thorough read. Now, in terms of debugging problems, the two major files that you're going to be working with with um, chassis sim scripting and which we're going to discuss just a, uh, um, in just a moment is going to be the setup file and the batch file. The great thing about these files is that they are INI files. What that means is if you run into problems, don't panic. The best thing that you can do is simply take out the bits and pieces that are not working. That is something that's really, really really key. If you take out those bits and pieces that aren't working, you can actually debug your problems very, very quickly. So again, I realize I discussed this in um, my last tutorial on this, but I really wanted to ram the home that point. So what does this Excel sheet I'm about to show you do? First, if, first things for, first, it will go through, you can put in your setup. Once your setup is in, and you click on the Start Simulate button, it generates a file called setupfile.txt. This is the setup file. It contains the setup information that will basically be called by Chassis Sim. It then generates a file called batchfile.txt, and that contains your circuit and data information. And lastly, what's going to be run is a script um, in the VB Basic version of Excel um, called Application Value or App Val Shell C Chassis Sim Technologies. Chassis Sim executable, and it will call the batch file. That is what's going on underneath the surface. So, what's actually going on here? Okay, so what we've got here is if you uh, uh, is when you install Chassis Sim, you're going to see a document called Chassis Sim Setup Service Version 2.xls. So, what I've done is I've already opened this document up, and so what we've got here is that we've pretty much got pretty much a glorified setup sheet. So what we've got here is we've got a 
thing that we can pretty much choose from a predefined list of bra uh, uh, of um, of springs. We can um, choose from a uh, from a set of um, existing bump rubbers, and we can choose from a set. Uh, we can specify our dampers using um, a set of predefined um, bump clicks for low uh, for low speed bump, high speed bump, low speed rebound, high speed rebound. In terms of specifying gear ratios, you choose from a set of predefined gears. And lastly, for your aero, you choose what your particular downforce configuration is, and then you choose whatever your front, um, uh, whatever um, your front wing is. And the great thing is, if you go up to, um, and if you click on save, what the great thing about what that just, uh, what we have just done here, is that has saved your particular setup. And the great thing about this is that you can have as many of these Excel doc documents as you want. This is. Pretty much, we've given this to you as a template. But honestly, let's just say that you are working on a setup, say, for Sebring, for instance. You would save this as as setup Sebring, or whatever you wanted um, to do. Now, so that covers your setup. Your simulation tab covers your list of predefined circuits. You've got a... Um, uh, then you've got your data options, where you can put in your car name, your short comment, your long comment, choose from your list of um, uh, data logging options that include um, Pi Toolbox, Motec, Bosch, Magneto Morelli, Atlas, Competition Data Systems, and AIM. And then lastly, to simulate, what you've got to do here is all you do is click on the simulate and just show you what's going to happen here. Is I'm going to click on simulate. There's some debugging thing I've put in. And what's going to happen here is that chassis sim has been called in the background. Now that's going to be there for about a minute or so while it goes off and um, chassis sim does what it needs um, to do. So what you'll find is at the end of that, that little um, when, uh, uh, what's running is chassis sim is running in the background. So we'll just give that a minute or two. And when it is done, that's going to disappear and that's generated your setup file. So pretty much this is a very, very simple version that for all intents and purposes, supplants the chassis sim front end for running uh, uh, for running your uh, for running your typical um, setup sensitivity uh, uh, for running running your typical setup sensitivity analysis. Now, one point that I want to make crystal clear here: this is a great tool for going through and see, and it's just finished running. This is a great tool for going through and greatly simplifying what you need to do in terms of selecting your springs. And it's all, and because I've given this to you as a direct example, you can configure this any way that you want. However, and I want to make this point really, really crystal clear. This does not replace the chassis sim front end for the higher modeling features. So for example, if you've got to do things such as uh, such as your tire modeling, your aero modeling, uh, things such as um, your um, setup optimization, you still need to use the chassis sim front end. Where things like the chassis sim setup service fits into the packing order is, for example, if you are the person, if you're the engineer who is responsible for generating the simulations, this is typically what you do with this is this is the thing that you will turn over to um, the race engineer, so if they want to go off and do simulation, they can do it using a very simplified um, front-end analysis that is, con uh, that is calling chassis sim from the back end. However, make no mistake, before you start to play with this, make sure you get comfortable, real comfortable and real familiar with this and the vehicle modeling process first. If you do not have this sorted first, then this is going to be a complete and utter abject miserable failure and I cannot stress that point enough. Now, so this is pretty much your setup and simulation tabs are going to be what um, you will spend um, your time in terms of the day-to-day -day running of this. However, let's now talk about the mechanics of setting this up. So first things first, what this will uh, uh, what um, uh, the, uh, what this will do is when you install chassis sim I go on the Shasim Technologies, the Shasim version 3.2.7. If you go on to help, there'll be an Excel resources tab. So obviously you've got the Shasim setup service. There's a Word document outlining um, the nuts and bolts of this, but you'll also see this zip file called dollara f310.zip. 
So what you will do is that you'll extract this to a uh, you'll extract this to a directory of your choice. So I'm just going to extract it here. And so what I'm going to do is on the chassis sim technologies, you'll see I've already done this. I've got a directory called models. And in that models um, directory, I've got a um, folder called Delara F310. Now what I can do here is if I go back here to help to Excel resources, I can simply copy that. Go to the Chassim version 327, uh, sorry, the Chassim Technologies folder under the directory models. Make sure you get the caps right. And then I can paste it in there. Now, I'm not going to do that because it's pretty much identical and it's pretty much a waste of time. Now, in this folder, here's the structure of this folder necessary to make it work for this particular setup folder. And you'll see this, um, this outlined here. So what we've got is C Chassim Technologies models, car name. So we've got the default car name, car file name car, and when it's done, it'll generate a file called setup file Now there's a subfolder called front uh, called front, and in there you'll have springs, dampers, bump rubbers, suspension geometries. Under that you'll have kinematics, Ackerman pushrod. It is in those folders where your ASCII setup files go. Ditto. The same structure is repeated with the rear, the front third spring, and the rear third spring, the engine. And in terms of aero, you'll see the same thing for your CLA, CDA, and aero balance files. One thing to point out with your aero balance files, make sure that those um, aero balance files are specified as percentage divided by 100 as opposed to percentage. It's sort of a hangover from the chassis in version 2 days, but you get used to the transition very, very quickly. Now, let's now talk about pretty much the things that you've got to set up. Okay, first things first, you've got to set up your file location. So... You put in your root directory. This is basically C chassis sim technologies models. This is where chassis sim is going to be writing things like its setup files, where it expects to see your, and it also expects to see your ASCII setup files. You've got your car name. You've got your base car file. You've got um, the name of your setup file and the same of your, uh, of your batch file. The chassis sim executable, this is really important. Make sure that you go through and specify where that is. C chassis sim technologies to chassis sim version 326. Now, you also need to specify the directory for the batch file directory. Now, one of the idiosyncrasies of Excel is that um, when it calls that app value command, it actually wants that batch file as a, um, uh, it doesn't want any spaces in that batch file. The whys and wherefore of that you can um, quiz um, Microsoft over. But that is um, where you um, set that up. So if you're just using, uh, if you're just using uh, installing chassis sim into chassis sim technologies, I will. I took. I created a, di a directory called chassis sim technologies, where the batch file, um, uh, where um, the batch file lives. What some of my other customers do is that they'll install chassis sim into a chassis sim technologies without any space. So look. It's up to you, but this is pretty much the mechanics of either do. Either way will work just as well. So no need to feel um, particularly nervous um, with um, rega oh, no need to feel overly nervous with um, regards to that. It's just there as an option um, for you um, ready to take um, uh, for you ready to use. Now let's now talk about the components that are going on underneath the hood. So first things first, you've got the front spring. So here, you've got a zero-based index indicating where your front left spring selection is. You then have a list here outlining your spring names and the actual ASCII setup file for that particular spring file. Now, you'll see here you've got a lot of different lists here. And what you can do is if you need to add to that, You've, all you've got to do is um, edit those lists. So, for example, let's now go to um, the front spring title, which is here. If we go into uh, if we go to insert na uh, insert name and define, you'll see um, our um, front you'll see our front spring title where you can specify from A7 to A11. So, if you need to expand it, that's readily uh, that is readily available to you, and you'll see that for pretty much all of, um, the, t uh, of the titles um, there. The bump rubbers are a very, very similar thing. The only difference is the bump rubber gaps are specified in millimeters and 
the ground gap flag one is ground gap flag on, zero is ground gap uh, flag on. Ditto for our lists of um, bump rubbers. So if I select on front bump rubber, front rubber title, that's basically the, the list of names that you see specified in the Excel in um, the ex uh, in um, your predefined um, list that you saw in the setup tab, and these are the relevant files that refer. Uh, these are the ASCII setup files that are related to this list. Now, the real meat of this, though, is if you go Alt F11, here's the VB code that is driving all this. So for your ver uh, for um, your various so for example, if I click on um, setup sheet one. With all those buttons here, here's the Excel. Sh uh, um, here's the Excel VB code that drives that. So that is there for you to play with. You've also got. If I click on here, here's base. Here is our suspension geometry tabs, where you um, can see the actual form. Uh, the actual form design. But if I go in here to view code, you can also see the VB code that's uh, that's beside it. One of the things I'd encourage you to do is when you start playing with this. Put in breakpoints and step through this so you can actually see what it's doing. You've also got an INI module that will go through and will write to an INI file because as we discussed, the basis of this is all INI files. So this is there for you to use and plunder at your leisure. So um, it's there for you um, to use. And lastly, and this is the mechanics of what writes the setup files for each of those things, so for each of those components, so you can add to that as you wish. So, uh, one thing, uh, just one thing, and you'll see a similar patterns for um, uh, for the uh, for both the tires and the bump rubbers as, as well. Now, there are two things before we wrap things up here that I want to t uh, uh, touch on. First of all, is the damper assignments. The damper assignments. The indexes that we chose, that's a, uh, the, the, that index, uh, 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 that, uh, uh, what that specifies is our, the number of low speed and high speed settings that we've got. Here we've got a zero based index selecting on what we've done. And here, for both bump and rebound, we've got separate damper files for both bump and, re, uh, uh, bump and rebound. You'll find the documentation for that. In the um, Shasim, uh, uh, in the document CSIM um, uh, setup documentation dot uh, that can help the directory. Let me just show the uh, show that. Um, uh, let me just um, show that where that would live. So that's in Shasim Technologies, Shasim version three two seven help. If you click on the Shasim tutorial, uh, uh, if sorry, my uh, my fault. If you click on Shasim setup file import dot DAC, you will see. The documentation for the uh, bump damper file and for the rebound damper file as well. One, la two last things I want to touch upon with um, the chassis sim setup service is um, the representation of um, the arrow. If we click on arrow, you'll see here the total number of uh, 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 the um, total number of arrow configurations, the total number of front rings, the total number of rear wings. So. So if that's configuration zero, this is the CLA, CDA, and arrow balance files that correspond that correspond to that. Here, what I've done is again that this is um, again this is a list which is our arrow configuration title title that if you need to you can expand on. The other thing too is um, here uh, is here you've got our um, uh, you've got your front wing title here and your rear wing title here now. In terms of what this configuration over here represents, is this represents the CLA, CDA, and error balance offsets that are going to be written to the setup file. In terms of their indexing, you will see this documented in the document, system setup service documentation under the uh, uh, under um, the uh, 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 under the arrow tab. But just to walk you through, um, uh, just to walk you through um, the index, uh, just to walk you through the indexing of that. What this does is that uh, it uh, basically works off the index of the number of front wings. So it'll start off on the number of front wings and will index down on the number of rear wings, and it uses a zero and it uses a zero based index. But again, I will refer you to the documentation of that. And lastly, in terms of representing your circuits. 
you basically have your circuit name here, your curvature file here, and your bump profile here. I haven't put in as yet the bump scale factors and um, the altitude road camber files, but you will see, uh, but when you go through and look at the scripting for um, uh, particularly generating the, um, the, uh, the batch files, you'll see that that can be readily added. So, what I would do to get, uh, what I'd encourage you now is that um, I would now encourage you to start playing with this. So, in terms of setting this up, the first step in playing with this is to set this up in Chassis M Technologies, Models, the Delara F310 file from the example that has been provided. Then run a few simulations, get used to it in terms of um, what it can do, and then start modifying it for your own ends. Once you start to do this, you're going to see that this is a very powerful tool. But again, what I've given you here is a basis. Your next steps from now is to take this Excel sheet, play around with it, modify it to your needs, and just see what a powerful tool this can be, particularly in terms of something that you would turn over to the end user. Give that a run, and I look forward to and because the great thing about this is this has also been added to um, the latest install of Chassis Sim, which is Chassis Sim version 327. So knock yourself out. It is there to be used. And I look forward to catching you on the next episode of Dan's Vehicle Dynamics Corner.